Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with the Generation 5 heir to the Dawn Moon Pack, Atlas the Third, and his mate Breeze! And Breeze, you're supposed to be mute, you're not supposed to be able to make that howling, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and Breeze ate so much of the doe carcass, she must have been ridiculously hungry if she ate that much. And thankfully, we are right on top, let's see... Is that the, the circle for the den? Is this the ancient den? Is this the treasure? Let's see. Okay, no, that was just... Oh no, did I remove all of those somehow? <laughs> By clicking on them? No! I needed those spots! <laughs> Gosh darn it, all right. Well, at least we have the fresh kill. Here, we'll put this as the fresh kill. I've never clicked on those and just had all of the spots disappear on me like that before. But welcome back, friends. We have just finished off a fresh kill. Atlas is completely exhausted and practically tripping over his paws. He had to summon Breeze away from their den, even though they are both very nervous about taking good care of their surviving pups, since unfortunately several of their pups were born, uh, stillborn after the terrible battle that Breeze had been through. Hello, you three. I'm not quite ready for you yet. Go back inside. Whispers, a fear echo. They were almost attacked by a coyote last time, and Breeze, in her fury, actually flew after the coyote, and there was so much barking and snarling and growling. I think that Breeze actually scared all of the local coyote populations and made it so that they think there's some sort of like terrifying two-headed wolf who lives here. The glitch last time was just amazing, but I love that now Breeze might have spurred some sort of, of legend about herself. And I think that Breeze might actually end up having a lifetime quest of uh, like maybe hunting coyotes to say that her legend spreads because it occurred to me and, and we'll say that the coyotes, maybe we aren't just like killing them. Maybe when we kill them, we'll instead say for role play that that's Breeze having chased them away through just the legend of the two-headed wolf that will start, rah, sorry Atlas, that will start spreading about. All right, stay inside pups, still not done. If I can bring a bunch of this fresh kill back to all of the pups, that would be fantastic because that would actually free us up to be able to focus our efforts on expanding territory once we wake up. Because we're definitely about to fall asleep. Atlas is tripping over his own paws. But yeah, I realized, there, yes, the last little bit. It's not much, but it'll do. That uh, Breeze doesn't have a lifetime quest beyond like not being able to howl. And I guess that's enough of one? But we'll have to see. We'll finish the bear butt biting. And if we can finish the legend of Atlas the Third with his bear butt biting skills, then maybe we'll have enough time to go ahead and focus on Breeze having the legend of the two headed wolf by being able to go ahead and actually do a little bit. Do a little bit of coyote chasing. All right, meanwhile, hello little ones. We've got a little bit of food to feed you. Atlas really doesn't need to fill his stomach quite as much as we do in order just to feed three pups, but yeah, we've got lots and lots of the food we dragged back to the den. Zephyr and Echo are sharing some food. Whisper has come up to snuggle their, their father. And we'll let Atlas go ahead and catch his breath for a couple minutes. Also, there's our fishing pole and the other strange scent is still in the air. Oh, guys, I actually love that idea of Breeze having a chance. Maybe I'll roll a dice. It says six. Of course it had to roll the highest thing. So maybe if we kill slash chase away uh, six coyotes, the legend of the two-headed wolf will become a, a thing that can happen. And then in the future, we might have a chance whenever we chase away a coyote from the den to roll a dice and see if we can make it easy for a few days as a result of the legend of the two-headed wolf. So maybe that's what we'll do. Not only lifetime challenges, but opportunities where those challenges could grow into legends. I like that idea. I very much like that idea. All right, so how are the pups doing? It looks like they're all gaining weight about the same rate, which is really fantastic. And Whisper is the smallest at the moment. Yeah, even with a full stomach, Whisper is the smallest. But Echo and Zephyr are like doing pretty fine too. We might actually like have them grow up really quickly at this rate. Are they done eating? Are they eating? Or are they just kind of 
I think they're kind of like playing with their food. All right, there we go. Yeah, just as I got up to try to correct that, they went ahead and finished eating. All right. So let me put that down in my notes. Legend of the Two-Headed Wolf. And coyotes. That could be really cool. And then we could have a list of legends where if the circumstances are correct, uh, we could try to trigger the legend. And if we do that, then that would actually let us maybe have like a special stat or something like that for a couple days. Or even give us, I don't think I would ever do it again, but even give us um, one of those ancestor blessings where we pretend everything was a bad dream when something bad happens. But to be honest, we kind of play Iron Wolf and we play Iron Wolf for a reason because it's a hard, difficult life that reflects the real lives of the wolves of the world. All right, Whisper, you've eaten everything. Echo, you aren't eating. Like your dad is exhausted and wants to play with you guys, but you gotta finish your food. We went through a lot of trouble to hunt it for you. Also, we still have the weird smell of that straw hat somewhere. The fact that we don't smell it right now makes me want to pretend like the coyotes were actually playing with it. Echo, where are you going? You're going to have the most overprotective parents because there's only three of you. <laughs> On your slim shoulders rests the entire fate of the Dawn Moon pack, you three. All right, where do you guys think you're going, huh? Oh, Breeze is having a good time. See? Oh, now we're just having a puppy puddle cuddle. Puddle puddle even. Oh my gosh. All right. They seem like they're doing well. There. That's more like it. And I'll do a little howl. I think Alice is very proud of his family. Even if he's also terrified that there's only a few of them. And what that might mean for the future. Whisper, where are you going? There, that's better. Like I said, most overprotective parents ever. All right, how are we doing over here? Prospect Peak Pack is mostly staying off our back, which is excellent. We just have one contested area. And it looks like we actually might have a chance to go ahead and try to push away the Swift Lake Pack this time. So let's send the pups inside. They don't want to go inside. Come on. I think that... I think that these two might be kind of indulgent parents just because they're so worried about these little ones. Versus B, who is trying just to be relaxed and not worry about anything and just be playful. And meanwhile, her pups are just staring at their dad like, Whoa, dad, oh my gosh, fighting's the best. I'm going to take on a cougar too, dad. Oh, poor B. She really thought she was going to get some peaceful little garden flower puppies. And instead, like, her mate turned out to be so just completely eager to fight that now we have to worry about the pups, like, leaping into battle at a young age. <sighs> Well, we're already up to six pounds. Whisper is lagging behind a lot more than I thought she would already. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, and let's go ahead and we will indeed put our noses back up in the air. Oh, was that a stranger wolf nearby? Female dispersal wolves. Okay, that's also not allowed. I think that, that, I think that Breeze actually turns very vicious anytime she thinks her pups are at risk. So let's go see where these female dispersals are coming from. And if it has anything to do, and let's make sure, Breeze, no! Breeze, you go home. I'm going to try to take over some territory. We don't need to hunt right now. All right, good. She's going home. Yeah, I think Breeze is getting a little aggressive because she smells uh, stranger wolves, especially female dispersal stranger wolves who might want her dead. All right, we'll follow this and see where they are. Wild Iris Herd. Honestly, actually, I could see Breeze having wanted to fight these wolves. So next time we'll let her come. But I think Atlas was able to convince her that maybe this time it's better. Oh, especially with two wolf packs getting involved. Because there's the dispersals. Oh, they were chasing this, this elk herd over here. That's what was going on. Yeah, look at the elk herd. Okay, right in front of us. Getting chased by the wolves. We're gonna hold still and just let them go past. Aha! And there they are! Which group is this? Oh man. Are these the wild iris females? Oh! What the heck? No, it's the avalanches! 
so it's the avalanche. Okay, the wild irises were the elk, but it's the avalanche dispersal females. I shouldn't have sent Breeze back. I shouldn't have sent her back. What the heck are you guys think you're doing? Alice is just having to like launch himself off. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh my gosh. It, what? We can't be chased by dispersals. Uh, okay, get out of here. Absolutely get out of here. Avalanche dispersal 63 female. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're having to go all in at this. It looks like the other two don't want to get involved just yet. Oh, they're really good at zigging and zagging and trying to get away. Are the others all going to leave? They are! Oh, but we can't even really howl over here. Not yet. Okay, we need to absolutely make sure they get out of here. But that means taking over this territory. Because we can't howl in it right now. We'll just attract the crevice lake pack down on our head on top of everything. Alright. Whoa, there we go! Alright, well I guess we made it very clear this is ours now. <laughs> Let's keep following them a little to the north. I don't mind if they run into the Swift Lake pack. I would actually be very fascinated to see what happens if you're able to chase dispersal females into the pack. They must have been very, very, very hungry and we literally kind of spooked their elk away from them after they had been so carefully trying to hunt them. So, oh, I lost the scent trail. Oh, is that a bear? Yes! There's a bear! There's the scent of a bear over here! And that's good because if we bite the butt of the bear... Okay, it's somewhere this way. Alright, let's try to take this spot over. There's a lot of resources here. That elk herd looked fantastic. This area looks wonderful with all of its lush grasses to hopefully support us in the summer when it's time for the summer hunting grounds. And meanwhile... Come on... All right, we definitely don't want to awaken the pack. And if there's a bear around and we can bite the butt of a bear, that will give us the option of being able to move dens in the future. Because we will have like one den credit towards Atlas's challenge. All right, here we go. Another coyote. Have you heard the legend of the two-headed wolf coyote? You better watch out. All right, nice. It actually seems like the Swift Lakes don't have a strong control of this area, so we're able to yoink it pretty easily. And there's bears to the north, which are very good for our challenge. Alice is getting kind of tired, but since so far we, we haven't run into any other wolves, I think he's willing to do a little bit more scouting, especially if there might be a bear around. I want to bite its butt. We might want to be very careful if we're so tired, though. All right. I think he likes this this place, like the upper area of these meadows makes him feel like he wants to raise his puppies in a den, don't get me wrong, like a cave den, but I think he's thinking, you know, when they're a little older and able to wander. Okay, apparently the scent post for this spot, is it, it, which spot am I in? Okay, I wasn't in the spot I thought I was, but ooh, what's this? Ooh, a bison bull carcass. I will follow that scent. There's usually, oh, okay, I think a cougar is involved with the bison bear carcass, but that would definitely be worth filling up your stomach on. Oh. Oh, nice. Nobody else is here. A storm is coming. We're up in the highlands. This is not where he would want tiny, itty bitty little fluff ball puppies to be. But I do think that Atlas is very happy. There, oh, wow. That was definitely enough bison to be able to feed him too. And I think I smelled a bear, but we're gonna ignore it and try to destroy the scent post. Here we go, just for the second. There. What's this? Oh, the bison nearby? I don't see them in this storm. However, I will take note of the concerningly loud music that has suddenly arrived. And maybe we should be a little careful as we traverse this this hillside. But all right, guys. So we have managed to spread a little bit more of the legend of the two-headed wolf. I really love the idea of digging into those legends. Let me know what you guys think about that. Because then it would be cool to see which wolves eventually want to, like, revive the legend of maybe Usagi, the... Uh, or it was Demeter this time. Demeter, the rabbit hunter. 
And maybe they could do echoes of previous challenges we've done to try to like earn a special condition or challenge or blessing. And let's see, are we almost there? Yes, and we've claimed another spot. And meanwhile, Atlas is surveying the highlands and thinking about the day where one day his three pups will be strong enough that they can come and they can patrol this area together, learning how to hunt and to become part of this wild world. So, all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our absolutely exhausted Atlas. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, mark that sim post, yes. And stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.